Retro Dude. Uh, yeah. Hi everybody. Right, I'm here to talk here to talk to you about my experience with Bowser's Fury, uh, an ace separate mode from the uh, Super Mario 3D World on Nintendo Switch. It's an excellent uh, two game package, so basically you get two ga two games for the price of one. Uh, so I got a lot to say about this and my experience about the game. So yes, get some popcorn, get some drinks, whatever you want to do. I'm going to talk about what I like, what I dislike, what things could be improved, uh, and things like that. You know, sort of like a, a little an a analysis of the uh, whole game entirely. So so basically, how it runs is, you know, so if Gazler Games was wondering on Facebook, you know, can you lock? Do you have to lock the game uh, to play the game? But no, you don't have to, dude. You basically have to just press A and you're, go. you're good to go. That's it, because he thought you had to lock um, 3D World to unlock the mode, but you don't have to, uh, which is really good. So basically, Mario is walking along and he's basically going like, do 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 do. Like, it's similar intro to like the. Uh, the uh, 3D world, but uh, it has little gobs of goo going around, and you see like a, a similar symbol from Super Mario Sunshine. Then you get sunk into that world of the dark goo. The dark goo rises, as I call it with a Batman reference. Ha ha ha. So this game runs at 30 frames a second. I could tell why they run. They needed to compensate the uh, CPU of the Nintendo Switch. It only has four gigs of RAM, so it has to. They have to make sure to get an equal balance of good frame rate and good performance in handheld and, and of course TV mode. Uh, so uh, 30 frames, I'm happy with. But uh, you know, if the next Nintendo Switch will come out, uh, maybe the next couple of years, I reckon it will be even better when you get a patch in and that will hopefully be really good. I do wonder why it takes so long to load a, a level. It took like quite a lot, I think about a minute or two to load a, one scene. Uh, so the RAM is really, is getting bottlenecked in that point. But it's nice, it has a little cute animation of a uh, Bowser in 8-bit form and also Bowser's Junior in 8-bit form. And also you basically meet Bowser Jr. at the beginning of the game. So he gives you like a, a little story, uh, if you will, of how to, how what's going on with Bowser. And he's basically imitating uh, Jackson Pollock <laughs> with a paintbrush from Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, so basically this game, guys, has um, 50 cat shines to collect if you want to do that the first time. However, if you want to go for the completionist goal, you can actually get 100 cat shines in this game. So it's up to you how you play the game. So how I played the game was I did 50 cat shines first just to get a little glimpse of the island, uh, know where the secrets are and then um, know where my roots are for with the dino dude. Uh, so so. If you get 100 cat shines, guys, you get a secret ending and uh, a secret surprise, which I'm not going to obviously say. So you have to find out for yourself, which is a <laughs> which is a great mystery in a whole uh, video game world in itself. So basically how so during my time of playing the game. So I started on the ship and basically Bowser Jr. would tell me about what, what you should do, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, so. The strange thing about the game, I will want to say this though, as a little criticism to Nintendo, um, with the Dino Dude, as you ride along, you, apparently there's a secret trick to getting a, a, a greater boost jump. Now, I didn't know, know this but until Game Explained did a video and said, like, what you do or do is press Y when he dives, and then when he saw head is like a slightly above the water rim, then press then press B and he does the suit and golden jump. So that soon super golden jump is really useful to getting over obstacles, as I'll show you in the footage. That I, it took me a while to get to that island when I first did it because I didn't know, you know, could I get over there until I found a video on YouTube that says, "Hey, look, this is how you do it." I mean, how I was how, how was I supposed to know about that move? And Nintendo didn't even bother putting like a little prompt saying. Um, look, you could actually do a move if you press this button. So Nintendo doesn't really hold your hand in this sort of game. You have to sort of figure it this out on your own, which I was a little bit annoyed of. <laughs> but hey, that's fine. Uh, so when Bowser comes on the screen, so basically I'm calling him now Dark Goo Oil Bowser. I know, I know. That's that's what he looks like to me. He just looks like he he, he went to Texas and just went, oh, just come with me and goo. Uh, yeah, it's so uh, so weird. So basically, when you when you face Dark Goo, Bowser, Rising, whatever, 
I know, he's got to have loads of memes at this point. <laughs> yeah, so he comes on the screen. So if you want to unlock uh, more cat shines, you have to basically get Dark Bowser to come on the screen. And it's a uh, it's a uh, it's an interesting experience. Uh, you know, I'll <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but it does tank up quite a lot when uh, a lot of stuff is moving around. When he does that fire breath, it does that weird little uh, pixelated distorted effect. I noticed that it looked like it, it was crackling and uh, grainy. You know, when you see it up for, very close to your eyes, I noticed that. Well, I, I obviously didn't do that, but when I did it standing back from afar, it just looked very weird and very orange. <laughs> a very cool uh, effect though, uh, which I did like. So you get these Bowser blocks, so you have to make sure he he comes on and destroys the blocks for you. However, if you've got the Bowser uh, uh, amiibo, you can easily get him on instantly, which I don't have. So so I have to play the little waiting game, like do, 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 do. When's Bowser gonna show up, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Yeah, basically that. That's that's basically what I was doing most of the game, just waiting for Bowser to show up, and he basically just swells around. And he does this little intro. It kind of annoys me every time when they do like a when he comes on like intro. You can actually skip it with a, with a plus button on your Joy-Con controller anyway, so that's a good thing they put in there because once you see it once, but when it comes like on and on and on and on, that just that's just stupid. Every time it comes on, don't know why he does that. Nintendo, stop doing that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> so basically you can race with the Dino Dude, you can get, uh, there's basically bunnies that are hopping around water. Now, in cartoon logic, wouldn't he fall in the water? I know, but in the 3D world of games, uh, <laughs> it's just ball for him. He, he looks like Jesus walking on water, basically. Uh, <laughs> a Jesus bunny is the here on earth. I know, kind of odd, right? So... So basically, you got these light towers, guys. So each island would have a light tower of like uh, I think it's like I think it's like five cat shines for every uh, tower, and it does it in individual colors, which is really quite a cool effect. So when you get a tile lock, the first one, you can uh, do the butt stomp, and you can get a power up, which is really cool. So you can stockpile all your power ups for the final boss if you want to. That's what I did at the first time. Uh, and some bosses, I mean, sorry, some stages I found very difficult with the lava level. Um, it, I did not like that level at all because I kept dying a lot as well, uh, especially one hit death, I know. But it's good they put a little bit of variety of challenge. I feel with the Bowser's boss battles, they are way too easy, though. Especially Mario reminds me of Goku from Dragon Ball Z. I mean, what uh, did Nintendo watch Dragon Ball Z and just went, yep. There's Goku there. That's our inspiration right there. Let's put him in the game. So in a cat Mario suit, it just looks really stupid and over the top. Yeah. What's his cat pa cat power level? Over 9,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can hear it. <laughs> I know. It, it, it's really quite cool because what I like about the game is it, when Bowser fires his spikes, you can actually hold them. If you press Y, if I remember, yes, press Y, you can hold it and you can throw it at him and then you can actually do a bot stomp. But with Cat Mario, you can actually do the uh, the cat dive move, which is even more powerful than doing the butt stomp. So there you go. And, and this, so there's a good variety in this sort of game. I like it. I, the, I don't know how long it took me the first time I completed it. I think it took me about four hours, five hours the first time. Because uh, uh, I was new and I didn't know what things were. And I get, as half the time I was getting lost. And, and half the time, what I like about these Nintendo philosophy type of games is there's always secrets to unlock. There's always secrets to uh, uncover with your very eyes. And I just love Nintendo's philosophy in this sort of thing. Fun is good. And when you find like a waterfall that you didn't see before, you can actually go through it. I did not know that before. And I like, I just like, you know, then there's uh, these uh, fetch quests as well with the cats as well. So there was a free one that was quite easy. And uh, the last one I, I had to check on YouTube to find out where the last cat was because it is like, and uh, and basically, and there's another, there's a second cat uh, collector farm, which basically has five cats as well you got to collect. Uh, so, <clears throat> so it's a good, uh, it's a really good game. I'm very happy I played it. So uh, I think Yoshi Fanatic raised a really good point. Uh, when I did a recent live stream uh, the other day, he was saying to me, why couldn't this Bowser's Fury be separate? And I totally agree with him because 
You think about this, Nintendo. You could have sold the this game in a separate mode. You would have made a stupid amount of money anyway. And, you know, for like a... For, like, say, £20, you know, you could get, like, a three-hour campaign for £20 or a six-hour campaign. That's a great deal. I mean, I would personally pay for that. Uh, but some people didn't want to play 3D World as well. So, because, obviously, um, the other dude has basically got a Wii U version of the uh, 3D World, obviously. But um, I suppose that Nintendo didn't think about the Wii U owners as well. I mean, I don't know if it, how well will it run on the Wii U, but it probably will be like uh, tanking uh, more than the Switch version. So who's to know? But things could, things could change with the destiny of Nintendo. So I want Nintendo to keep exploring more of this. I think it, they, they're on to something. You know, I like, I love open world games. You know, you get fun to explore everywhere, you know, everywhere around the corners of the world. You know, I, I just love those kind of type of games, you know. You know, you're 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 getting rewarded for your curiosity, and I do like these kind of games that are, you know, the more you play, the more you uncover, which is really good. So I really enjoyed this game, guys. So if you want to buy it, go for it. It's on Nintendo eShop. Um, it's you can only get uh, basically Super Mario 3D World with Bowser's Fury at the moment. That's a but that's quite a good deal. So for fifty quid, you're actually getting two games for the price of one, which is a good value for money. Um. But obviously, if Nintendo can strategize and uh, try and make it separate, uh, I think you're on to winner, Nintendo. Uh, keep that going. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I thought it was really good fun, guys. So I give it a thumbs up. So if you like this video, guys, remember to please like, comment, and subscribe. And as Retro Dude says, Retro Forever. And I'll see you guys in the next Ace video. Take care.